Bob Hope was one of Paramount's um, chief um, talent and is in one of the early television skits mm -hmm. at Dumont about the joining of Paramount and Dumont. And I've got some copies of that somewhere in the things. And um, Alan Dumont was scientific background from university, from um, Rensselaer Polytech. I was scientific from Cornell University. He had gotten a lot of experience in business administration, running the company up to that time. But he and I, I had quite a bit to do with long-range planning in the company. I became vice president eventually. Then we decided that we needed some programming help that we didn't own yet. And we said, Paramount has films, whole backlog of films, and they have contacts with handling talent. They know how to program things, performers. So it would be a good combination for them to come in. So we let them in the door. Did you go to them or did they come to you? They came to us. And I don't know Wall Street. I admit I'm not a specialist in finance. I didn't realize that their fine print said, we will own the B stock in the corporation you own the A stock. The A stock, you and Alan Dumont and the other people that own that stock can elect the president and the vice president and run the business. We, the B stock, will elect the secretary and the treasurer, and we will advise you on finance matters. The advise was the acceptance word in that weasel things that I thought of, but it was a bad interpretation. Advise means control. So for 22 years, Paramount was a millstone around Alan Dumont's neck. I've been in board meetings with Alan Dumont time after time. When first Barney Balaban, president of Paramount, um, had his flunkies on the board. I say flunkies, other people, subordinates. He later became on the board himself. One particular chance was they were meeting in New York usually. But that morning, he was to come to the plant for the first meeting of the board after he had joined it himself. We got wind ahead of time through the secretary, who are our attorney, that something was probably up because we got a phone call from Paramount. They said, we're delayed. Our limousine isn't ready yet. We're going to be a little bit late. The purpose of that meeting was going through Wall Street to get some financing for the issue of new Dumont stock. Another $5 million to come into the company. So... Was this after the war? Yes. After the war, okay. Yeah. So, um, I was appointed acting secretary for that meeting, Dr. Mont president, and uh, we held a meeting and elected, a, a, adopted a $25 per share for a new issue of stock. Wall Street was perfectly cooperative with Dr. Dumont. We had good friends in Wall Street with the, the later uh, governor of New Jersey on our board and whatnot. But that morning, we passed the authority to go ahead with the issue of Wall Street. Paramount with Barney Belvin arrived late, and Barney came into the, to the meeting and said, Alan, we're ready to start the meeting. Alan said, we've completed the meeting. You were late coming, we're sorry but we've agreed on $25. He let such a bevy of castigation of Dr. Dumont that was pitiful. He says, you will never have a chance to do this again. We don't want our stock diluted. They had bought a lot of other stock on the outside in addition to the 55,000 shares. They paid money at the market and um, for the B stock and A stock. And from their own, they gave us a real hard time for 22 years when in 1960 we got rid of Paramount by merging with a smaller company than ourselves. 